Hey ya, Jeannie Jammer here again, and in this video, I'm going to try and show you a bit of a way to decorate your pumpkins for any fall decoration you want to do for it. And I'm not exactly carving it, it really depends on who you ask for the technique. You could say it's a carving, or you could say it's kind of like skinning, because I'm carving off the outer of the pumpkin, I guess you'd say to make a kind of plant design, because I've done this before and it turned out pretty well and I'm going to try to do it a bit different this time. Um, I will admit my camera's really shaky because I'm unfortunately having to hold it by hand right now because the way I'm doing this, I would not be able to use a stand or anything. So that's lovely, but this is my pumpkin and it does have a big old dent on the other side. But for what we're doing here, that really does not matter because we're just using this side of the pumpkin. And I have some tools over here I'm going to be using. I don't actually know what happened to the tool I used the first time I did a technique like this. So I actually got some Garmin J tools that I haven't actually all opened up yet. So I'll get that done in a minute. But here comes the pumpkin. And I have a bit of a sketch of what I kind of want it to look like. Something like this, but, you know, it's a tentative sketch, so we'll see how it actually turns out in the long run and how it goes. On the petals of flowers, I'm hoping to maybe do a little bit of texturing to it to make it look a little cooler, but I've never tried that before, so... Again, we'll kind of just have to see how that goes. But, I'm not just gonna video me carving up the whole thing, because that'd be really hard for me to do with the camera on my phone, for one, and the stand not cooperating. Also, the fact that I already have a cat right beside me on the arm of my chair, who will probably start fussing at me at any point. I'm also probably not going to make this process very easy or helpful. Also, that it would be kind of boring for you to watch this part, so I may cut back in to show you progress as I go, but this is just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm trying to do, and I'll get back to you. Okay, just showing you a little bit of an update. It looks a little worse on camera than it does actually in person but I basically did a bit of the tracing and stuff and then I just carved out that part with this one which is basically just it, well it's the sharp edge like a knife but a little easier to handle for actual carving like this but that's why it's part of a garment jacket kit because that's actually meant for carving fruits and vegetables and stuff like this and it's nothing super great, but this is just where I've gotten so far, and it I will clean it up and it'll look better than that, but I decided to start with this side first and go from there. But that's all for now, and I'll be back later. Alright, I'm basically done with the carving now. I've done some extra detail work other than smoothing on the leaf and the flower, and unfortunately it hasn't turned out as well as I hoped, but I wasn't sure how great it would turn out anyway. And I've got the rest of a bit done, but I am going to see if I can get the pieces cleaned up a little bit. But I'm not going to guarantee it's actually going to clean up any more than it already has. But I'll see about that and i got to clean up my area. Because it's a bit of a mess. Pumpkin everywhere and my hand is orange. <laughs> but I'm going to see if I can clean it up anymore and then I'll be back. Alright, I got cleaned up a little. And it looks a little bit better, I think. You can get a better look at the detail on... The leaf looks way better than the flowers now, but again, it was something I was trying to hunt on before. And you may be able to tell between the spots where I did better, a bit more like on this area. And then we got to some rougher areas like around here and stuff where I was having a lot harder of a time controlling it and keeping it going. Because this is not a short project. It's not a short process. It takes quite a bit of time. And I may have spent around five or so hours on this, to be honest. And that uh, was not the best idea, because I probably <laughs> should have eaten something else at this point. And also the cats are a bit upset at me that I took forever to give them more food and water. <laughs> they weren't dying or anything, so don't worry about that. They were fine. We just have one of them that gets a little grouchier than the other one. But, as you can see, it's not exactly how I had planned on the design to begin with, but I kind of expected that to happen anyway. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm just glad I finally got this project done with. And while I'm not 
the happiest with it as I could be. It's not bad. I do miss whatever I use for my first tool though because using the Garma J tools, yeah, they are meant for fruit and vegetable carving, but whatever I used the first year worked a lot better for this kind of thing. And I don't know if it was in a pumpkin carving kit or not, but it wasn't in the kind of kits you see nowadays and it's rather unhelpful that I couldn't find it, but I'd say it still worked out pretty good. And it'll still last longer outside than the regular thing will. So, could be better, could be worse, but that's just kind of how it goes and you're not going to find out for sure how it's going to work until you try it. So, up to you what to do. Then, you know, go for it if you want.